Yo, what's going down, Wargamers? Steven here. Welcome back to Command Center Wargaming. So look, today I wasn't going to do a video, but I just wanted to pop a quick one out because this is something I wanted to discuss for a little while. Um, we, we're just looking at the new New Year's Eve Open Day uh, article from Games Workshop. Now, this is a couple days old now, obviously. I'm not going to go through this. If anyone wants me to go through it, just drop a comment down below. But I really don't think we need to because I think, you know, everybody else has done it by now. And quite frankly, um, you know, I really don't see the point because I don't feel there was enough in here to sort of justify it. Maybe, maybe if we caught it on the release, you know, um, maybe I would have done it. But, you know, not now because it's, it's pretty much all just been covered. I'll chuck a link down below in the description though. You can read it for yourself just in case you haven't seen it. Um, also, there are heaps of other there are heaps of other YouTubers that have done um, reviews and commentaries on that. I will just make a comment or two on about it, and I want to I want to actually talk about this guy, who um, who I believe he's a chaos sorcerer. Now, there's as far as I know, there's been no official word from Games Workshop that this guy is a sorcerer, but I'm kind of reading between the lines. And, um, you know, like I'm getting the signals that I think it's fair to estimate, place an educated guess on the fact that he may well be a Chaos Sorcerer, given that he's got, you know, a Sorcerer's Staff with a ram's head on it. He's got flames coming out of him and flames coming out of his hand, which signifies magic. Um, he's also got his frontal robe here which can signify like sort of like, well, it could signify anything in, I guess it's Warhammer. Look, guys, look, it could mean anything really. But I mean, I'm pretty sure this is a Chaos Sorcerer. So, you know, no one said otherwise. So as far as I'm concerned, that's what he is until someone announces that he's not, all right? So basically, look, um, you know, he's also got that really epic Ram's Head skull, which is also fantastic as well and, uh, and awesome. So I want to just talk about him and there's a few things about him in another photo that I kind of picked up on and, uh, and I've seen now that a couple of other people have picked up on it and uh, so I decided to do a video about it, okay? And uh, there are actually hints of Abaddon here and I believe it's Games Workshop hinting to us that Abaddon is coming and there's a few other models like hidden within the, the, the picture there. Um, and I know it sounds a bit crazy right now, but just stay with me. As I said, it's going to be a very, very short video, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, probably the freaking shortest one I've done. Uh, but I just had to cover it because it's, to me, it's, it's really relevant news. Um, one thing I just like to have a bit of a, bit of a laugh at is, um, the fact that, uh, so apparently like there are a lot of people going out to Warhammer World, um, to inspect the models and, um, apparently so... Uh, Games Workshop have actually started releasing these articles before they open the gates to Warhammer World. I think, like, I was watching another YouTuber and they basically said that uh, they actually went there, the poor guy, and he's actually a really good YouTuber. I watch him, I'm subscribed to him. He's, he's really awesome. He's one of, like, you know, uh, one of the bigger ones. And, um, and essentially, like, uh, the poor guy went there and, like, camped out and stuff and you know, to get in there early, to get the news early. And uh, and what happened was is the Games Workshop pumped out this article like 10 minutes before they opened the gates. So apparently people were standing in the queue reading the article. They just like, you know, drove like X amount of time to get there, which uh, kind of sucks. And, uh, and I'm very sorry about that to anyone who experienced that. Um, I don't have the privilege of living in the UK, um, so I wish I did. Because uh, I would certainly travel a whole day to get to Warhammer World just to do a video of it. Um, I've sort of just got to run with the uh, articles and the community articles. But I just find it pretty awesome because it means that we actually... Because usually when there's new articles, I sit there poached, ready to strike on the article. And um, it's uh, I've actually been criticized by one or two people saying that like, oh, I read the articles out too much. But I just found it you know, a little bit ironic that, uh, you know, the fact that I've been doing that actually means that, you know, everybody's pretty much been getting the news uh, pretty early or, um, you know, on par with everybody else. And I think that going through these articles, especially on big releases, 
uh, are a very good way of doing it and reporting on the stuff that's happening in GW and at these events, you know. Uh, like, unfortunately, look, I missed the ball on this, uh, on this one, but it wasn't really just missing the ball. I suppose it was more that, like, I was doing another video at the time and, um, you know, I just didn't feel that there was enough coming through in this video to jump on it. Uh, except when this guy, when this sorcerer guy got released, and I'm just calling him a sorcerer. Again, disclaimer, there's no actual, there has been no announcement that he's a sorcerer, as as I know of right now, up to this point in time, at the time of recording the video, that he is a sorcerer. But that's what I'm calling him, because he's been called nothing, all right? Um, and then, so what I think happened was, is like, I made a comment in another video, the 2019 predictions video, saying that I felt that, uh, you know, it was a little bit underwhelming. And from what I've seen, there are a lot of people who share that opinion. And what I think happened is Games Workshop weren't actually going to release this model, but they might have had some comments on the day and might have actually seen that. And uh, they've basically gone through and then, you know, gone, oh, crap, we've got to try safe save face. And they've released this guy like, um, you know, sort of like uh, just right at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, so that's why I missed him the first time. Um, and a lot of the other YouTubers had to come back, do videos. I'm doing the video up now, but that's because, you know, uh, I had to do that battle report and all that kind of stuff as well. And um, then there was another video I was half finishing. So, yeah. But anyway, here he is and he's awesome. This is basically all they say about the guy. Uh, while we can't tell you anything about this guy yet, it's safe to say he's not a good guy. Well, no, um, I don't know of many good guys that wear ram skulls and on their head um, and eyes of Horus on their knee pad guards. But uh, yeah, um, and the Imperium is in for some very dark days indeed. And that's pretty much it. This has got nothing about it. Just saying like subscribe, uh, subscribe to the newsletter. All right. And I mean, that's it. And look, I could go through, sit here in the video and talk to you about a whole lot of rubbish about... Oh, how the model's not busy and all this kind of crap like that. And how, gee, the edge highlighting is so smooth and all this other crap. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to show you this, okay? So, I believe in this video that there are actually hints to Abaddon in here. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a fortune cookie. It probably looks like something else as well, but I'm not going to go there. It, it wasn't my fault, guys. It's because I was outlining what looks to me like to be a Terminator Lord. Um, but anyway, so there's some subtle hints in this uh, in this photo, okay? Now, as a trained professional graphics person, artist, etc., and many other things, um, there are a few rules in here, design rules, that I believe... Uh, make this not a coincidence okay because you could argue you could say i mean you could say well oh it's just coincidence steve um horace's talon you know the talon of horace on abaddon because you all know he's weeding the talent was just their games workshop just happened to use that picture they just happened to put it in the background um they just happened to do that um and you know that's fair enough you could say that um, you could also say that that was just a picture that was used and it was just conveniently placed that there were these like new sort of uh, Black Legion uh, warriors uh, in the background that look strikingly similar to the ones that we found in uh, Blackstone Fortress, especially the guy with the helmet off. And I've just realized that actually isn't a Terminator. That's the guy's Thunderhammer right there. So I've actually marked that out wrong. I've just saw that then. Um, but, uh, but I've just realized that's actually a thunder hammer. I thought that was a terminator holding a power sword, but it's not. That's actually a thunder hammer. Okay. And then that he's holding it and he's something's going on there. And the other thing about this, this picture is that it's actually like chaos fighting chaos by the looks of it. Okay. Cause, uh, there looks like there's a lot of spiky parts and stuff. Um, you know, all over the place. So that's very interesting as well. And I've always said in my videos that like how mad would it be if you had like some kind of like infighting erupt on Vigilus uh, with Chaos. All right. So now let me let me run a few of those theories by you and, um, and let me know uh, and let me know in the comments below what you think. Now, the first thing about it is just the position of the image, right? 
This hand could have been cropped out, okay? These two figures here are very conveniently placed on the rule of thirds on this picture, okay? Now, the rule of thirds is basically a design um, philosophy, a design principle, where it is the human eye hits things. If you divide the screen up in three, it basically means it's a rule of thirds. The human eye is trained to see that first. A lot of people think that, like, the eye focuses on the center first. It actually doesn't. It focuses on the third of the screen. It's like rule of third that way and then rule of third that way. Look it up on Google. Um, you may notice in a lot of my videos too, I'm always sitting on the rule of thirds. In that last spray painting video, I'm sitting on the rule of thirds, sort of like right down the third of the screen. That's not an accident. I also use a lot, a lot of um, empty space to like draw attention to myself uh, like I did in that video. So look, as I said, um, it's not an accident. Um, I might be an actual YouTuber that has actually worked in film, actual film and studied film. But anyway, I'm not going to go there because it is still YouTube and that's what it is. Um, so, you know, yeah. So anyway, um, and then, so that's there like that. Both these guys sitting on the rule of thirds. All right. And um, the hammer is conveniently more placed there so that you see it. Now I could go through and bump the saturation up on this background image. But I really don't think I have to. Um, I just want to try to get this image down here so you can see it. Because probably probably uh, my face might be blocking this off. Um, so I'll just bring that up over here. And hopefully you can see that now just in case my face is blocking it off. Um, Horace's Talon right here. Alright. Um, the two Chaos Legion guys, Black Legion guys. He's got his Thunder Hammer here. And the... the, um, the, the uh, Horace's Talon right here as well. So now with Horace's Talon, guys, I want to point out the saturation and the contrast of Horace's Talon is actually darker than everything else in the shot. Okay, this has, this is an intentional this is an intentional increase. All right, um, if you look at the blacks of the image, all right, so they're actually a lot deeper than the blacks in the rest of the image. So again, this is a design philosophy, okay, to get things to stand out subtly, and they've used it. Also, the also you've got the Warhammer World New Year Open Day uh, text here, which is actually pointing to the uh, Talon of Horus on Abaddon, right? So when your eye hits that, it's it's automatically redirecting your eye over here to the uh to the uh talon of horus over here and you know it's conveniently it's also conveniently very well placed so it fits the whole ta talon in and also you've got this white sort of in the background so the talon's popping out so guys i'm like i'm taking an educated guess here i'm taking an estimate um that that is a pretty big hint to abaddon all right, with this Black Legion Sorcerer, what I think is a Black Legion Sorcerer, officially known in the Games Workshop as a new Chaos model. All right, so anyway. All right, cool, guys. So it's a very short video. I'm going to leave it there. I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Super fantastic. If you're new to the channel, please have a look at our uh, 500 subscriber competition where you can win some hero individual uh, hero space marines. Also, Monaris Kalgar with Vitrix Honor Guard. Okay, fresh from the packet. All right. Uh, also, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell notification icon in the corner there. It really helps out when you do that. And uh, thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, this channel is growing really well, and it's thanks to you guys and girls. Fantastic, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Steve, Command Center Wargaming.